the pain like I'm Nagato. Got no father like I'm Naruto. Keep the blade on me, Ichigo. Who really wanna go toe for toe? TTR from Tokyo. Diamonds whipping up on the stove. Lucky man like a four leaf glow. Diamonds wanna go. Hello guys, my name is Nagato, and for today's tutorial, I basically have something a little special for y'all guys. Um, I recently got my HDMI splitter. A little card or yeah just a HDMI splitter and now I can record um you know PlayStation 3 tutorials for y'all guys because if y'all know um recording on the PS3 is a pain in the ass uh, with HDCP but unless you have like a dev kit or test kit but now I could do that since I have the you know proper tools but today I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to install PlayStation 2 uh, unreleased games dev builds or you know some test demos like from E3 and stuff so that's pretty cool if you have you know a developer version of the game the game we're going to be testing today is kingdom hearts one uh trial test demo before like a prototype build of kingdom hearts one um with that being said i'm going to get it started with the prerequisites so what you need for this tutorial is a modded playstation 3 it doesn't matter if it's a fat or slim make sure it's on custom firmware though i'm using the latest version of rebug and I'll have everything I'm saying in terms of tools, downloads, and stuff like that will be in the link in the description and below. But um, also with that, I'm on, uh, like I was saying, Rebug 4.84.2 on Kex. This method does work on Dex. So if you're on Dex, six, uh, Dex systems, excuse me, you can use this method as well. Um, you'll need a USB drive. Make sure your USB drive is formatted to FAT32. I have one right here. You could also do this uh, FileZilla and FTP method, but just for this tutorial, I'm going to use the USB method since we got to install some package files as well. As you see here on my desktop, you need the latest version of Multiman. And Multiman is one of the um, best file managers for PlayStation 3. I highly recommend that for anybody who's using custom firmware. Most people already, you know, use Rebug uh, custom firmware, and most people use Multiman, so they probably already have it installed but go ahead and install the latest version and then also if you're using rebug um you know custom firmware you should already have rebug toolbox installed but i have the latest version right here as well as a pkg so once you have these two files and also your game or you're basically your unreleased or dev game i can't you know guarantee that uh every game will work since you know the playstation 2 emulation is not like you know the official you know emulation chip that are in ps2s and on some ps3s this is running off basically um the playstation net emulation that are for you know verify playstation 2 classics in the psn store that's what it is basically using on slim models but um with that being stated first step you want to do is go ahead and plug in your usb drive into your um pc which i'm doing now real quick as you probably hear from my microphone but once you um plug in your usb drive make sure it's formatted to fat32 i'll show you guys how to do that real quick so if you see local disk or whatever your flash drive at go ahead and right click it go into properties and then from there your file system should say fat32 let's say if your thing doesn't say fat32 and you're like oh snap i can't do it it's fine go ahead and go to right click it or right click over your hard drive go to format and then from there, uh, look at file systems. You should see uh, three options, XFAT, NTFS. If you know about the PS3, they don't support NTFS file or you know hard drive or external devices or XFAT. So in this case, you would have to hover over the file system, click FAT32, and go ahead and hit quick format. But before you do quick format, like for example, um, if I hit start, it says warning um, that by formatting this you know, hard drive, um, it will basically erase all of your data. So if you do have important type documents on, you know, or pictures or whatever you have on your flash drive, go ahead and back that up on a PC or another USB before you do this method or just buy, you know, a cheap flash drive. This flash drive I had since 2011, it's seven gigs. You could probably pick one up from Amazon for like under $10. So it's not too expensive. But what you want to do now is go ahead and copy over your PlayStation 2 game your multi-man PKG and rebug toolbox package onto your hard drive by just copying and pasting or dragging over. I've already did this method just to, uh, you know, save some time. And as of right here, you can see my games, uh, the two PKG files. And then basically when you have that, you're already set and done on the PC. Now what I'm going to do is transfer over to the PlayStation 3 and you're going to see my X and B. And then I'm going to show you guys on how to install packages 
Um, most of you guys probably already know how to do this, but for newcomers, I'm just gonna show you. And then I'm also gonna show you guys on how to copy and paste your um game onto your uh in within Malta, man. So I'll meet you guys back there. All right, guys, so you should be back on your PlayStation 3. Now what you want to do is go ahead and plug in your FAT32 USB that you just formatted, if you haven't already, from the PC with the 2PKG files and also your, you know, unreleased game or your dev build version of a PlayStation 2 Classic. What you want to do now is go to your XMB, scroll all the way over to the game section and the menu, and then scroll all the way down to Package Manager. Then from there, what you want to do is go to the second option, install package files. And then from there, go to the third option, standard. And then you should see the two PKG files um, on your screen. If you do not, go ahead and back in the video, make sure you know your USB is formatted to FAT32. Um, but with that being said, go ahead and click X on both of the package files. So you want to install the Reebok Toolbox, let it do its thing, do multi-man. And once you're done with that, since I'm skipping that step, you should see it on your um little dashboard right here. Now what you want to do is go ahead into Rebug Toolbox first, because what we're trying to do now is to run basically uh, Cobra, which it enables you know systems without the original PlayStation 2 emulation chip, like the 20 gigabyte PS3s or the Fatboy 60 gigabyte ones. That's the reason why we have to enable this. So in order to enable it, you want to go to the second option, selector, scroll all the way down to toggle Cobra mode. Make sure you click X, make sure that's enabled. And now what you want to do from here is go ahead and restart your system and make sure it's a full on and off cycle. Um, I'm going to skip that step since I already had that a process done. But from here let's say you are booted up back on your main menu you want to know the next step to go to what you want to do is go to multi-man uh, once you install a multi-man for the very first time it may ask you you know um, if some like the terms of service and stuff so you just go past those uh, screens and then you should get into like a little uh, GUI that looks like exactly like the PlayStation 3 XMB it may take a little while on my end since I'm using my HDMI splitter and like it may take a little while for multi-man to boot up but there it goes on the screen what you want to do now as you see multi-man you want to go ahead and scroll all the way over to this column called mmcm you want to go to the second option called file manager slash mmos and now what we're going to do from here is try to copy the playstation 2 unreleased game into a certain directory under dev our underscore hdd0 so what we're going to do now is go to the first option here ps3 root all the way down to dev underscore usb 001 yours may say dev underscore u0 or usb 00234 as long as you could just click on it by double tapping x and you can see your files that means you're good to go um from here what we're going to do now is find our you know unreleased playstation 2 game so what you want to do is either use the d-pad to scroll down or your analog stick Go ahead and hit X on whatever game, and now what you want to do is press circle in order to get this little menu up. This menu, you could either delete the files off your hard drive, you could rename it, or you could cut or copy. In this case, we're trying to copy the, fold or the file over or the game over to the PlayStation 2 ISO uh, folder. So what you want to do is go ahead and click X. From there, you could close this one out, this screen, and then go back to PS3 root all the way down to dev underscore hdd0 and now you should see all your directories on your hard drive so dev underscore hdd0 guys is your hard drive and you should see uh four folders that says P like ps2 iso ps3 iso psp iso psx iso uh so for example since we're doing playstation 2 isos or playstation 2 unreleased game today you want to go ahead and click double x into the ps2 iso folder and then hover over the folder with your cursor and then press circle and then you could paste your PlayStation 2 game. I'm going to skip this step since it does take a little while and I don't want to make the um you know this tutorial any much longer. So go ahead and just paste your game, let it do its thing and it gives you a little notification on the screen that the process is done. Once let's say your game is already copied over into this folder and it should show in the folder that your game is there. Go ahead and click R1. And then it may take a little while. For me okay so go ahead and click r1 and you should go to the game selector first go ahead and hit refresh so what this does is basically scans any new games that are you know on the hard drive now 
and go to the second or two columns over where it says retro and then scroll down and now you should see you know your kingdom hearts game or in my case i see my kingdom hearts game but whatever unreleased dev build you see you can do that method go ahead and click x on it and now what multi-man is doing is basically mounting the iso so it acts like the playstation 2 like disc is inside your system when it's like clearly now uh clearly not but what you want to do now is go ahead and click x over your game in this case i'm going to pause my video right here since i know that uh with the hdmi splitter and with the playstation 2 emulation it doesn't render the game at 1080p it goes out to like native resolution like which is like 480 i'm assuming so i'm going to pause the video right here and then i'm going to tell you a little bit more about you know certain things in the playstation 2 emulation menu that you need to focus on so i'll meet you guys once i get that back up all right guys so you should see that your playstation 2 game has booted up uh, I just want to notify you guys if you're on a PlayStation 3 that's a slim model and using this method, um, your fan is going to go crazy. So don't worry, your system is not going to blow up or anything. It's just that when you're running a, the PlayStation 2 emulation, um, I'm assuming that the PS3 has to work harder since the you know emulation is not coming from the actual chip itself. It's basically using um, the original PlayStation 2 underscore net emulation that uh, some classic games run um, from like the PSN store uh, but with that being said um, your game should boot up correctly if not probably like your test demo copy didn't um, you know go through or it just is not compatible but with that being said um, as long as you have your DualShock 3 controller and the actual USB cable go ahead and connect that in because I know sometimes with the PlayStation 2 games running on the PS3 that um it won't recognize the DualShock Bluetooth controller and it needs the USB in first and then you could go and out and you know unplug it. But with that being said, go ahead and hold down the PlayStation 3 home button and then you will get this little menu as you see here on the screen. Go to other settings if you want, you know, have full screen mode, which I prefer. And then if you want to add on smoothing, which I highly suggest, it makes, you know, if you have played with any PS2 games, some textures are jagged and they may look dated. So having smoothing on will, you know, look better on your eyes. Then, you know, there you can reset the game, turn off the console, turn off the controller. And now from here, um, you are free to enjoy, you know, whatever unreleased dev build game on your modded PS3. So now you can play, you know, or, you know, some old classics that may never release for the PlayStation 2. You may, you know, get to see, you know, some concept games and stuff like that. And I think that's, a, you know, I'm into archiving, you know, old video games, especially for like the PlayStation, you know, legacy consoles. Um, but with that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. And, you know, for you guys that are new to my channel, please leave a like and subscribe at the bottom. You know, like, let me know in the comments if you know any, you know, games you would like to see on my channel. Um, I have a series called Will It Boot, and basically that's where I take my, either my jailbroken PlayStation 3 or jailbroken PlayStation 4 or modded PS4, and I run unreleased games. With that being said, my name is Nagato, and I'm signing out. Peace.